Hello everyone, this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft and uh, today I'm going to do the heat treat on the knife that I have made. Uh, for those who saw my last video, I was showing a home forge that I made and in that forge I was softening some metal that was from uh, a used leaf spring. And then using the angle grinder, a home bench grinder, um, uh, sander and a lot of uh, hand filing. I have made this knife which is modeled on the Ray Mears bush knife but also taken a little bit from the designs that Adventure Sworn has. Um, I have inadvertently put a little bit of a recurve in the blade here but that will be good for feather stick work when I'm in the bush. And the knife is uh, ready now for the heat treat. The, the scales are shaped and um, preliminary pins put in them just to align them up. All of that appears to be going quite well. And so now I'm going to stoke up the forge and attempt to do my um, heat treat on this. This will be the first time heat treating using this new forge. I have heat treated before using a home torch and some oil, um, but this is the first time to actually use a proper home forge. So follow me as we do that and we'll see how it goes. So the first stage is that I am busy heating just a simple piece of round stock in order to uh, heat my oil. And once that comes up to temperature, then I'll start to heat treat the knife. So because of how loud this whole thing is, I'm not going to uh, talk over it. But what I am going to do is start restart the forge in just a moment and then put the knife in and do just one the thermal cycle just to uh, bring it up to temperature and cool it down. And then I will put it in and bring it up to non-magnetic and put it in the oil um, and we'll see how that goes.
So the knife came up to non-magnetic and uh, then I put it back in for a moment or two and then put it into the quench tank and in a second I'll pull it out and run the uh, rather than I took it out and put it in between two pieces of angle iron and put some pressure on it to make sure it stays straight. And uh, in a couple of minutes I'll take it out and run the file on it and I'll show you that part. And so you can, you can see that the knife just skates on the blade. It seems to get a, have a good harden. So, there we go. Hardening in a home forge. So this is about uh, three weeks after I filmed the last video on using my home forge. This is the blade that I was hardening uh, after it has had the scales put on it. And you can see the scales are now on and uh, the uh, pins have matched up well with the scales. You can't even feel that they're there. Um, there's, there's the spine of the knife. It's got a nice edge on it now. I've done some cutting with it. Um, and there's just a little bit of gapping here where the epoxy pulled away from the handle. But uh, having said that, I'm fairly pleased. This is the, really the first knife I've made. And it's got good weight to it. It will, be a, it'll, it will be a good bushcraft knife. I have to make a sheath for it at some point. But that's the finished product after hardening it in my home forge. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.